Today in our 2015 GMC Sierra 3500, we're going to be installing the Kurt Front Mounted Trailer Hitch, part number C31071. Our hitch has a 500 pound tongue weight and a 5,000 pound towing weight with a 9,000 pound straight line pulling capacity. It's a fully welded steel construction with a square cross tube that's designed to hook up to the side plates, which is secured directly to the frame. Here are a couple measurements. This will assist you with selecting accessories such as a ball mount, winch mount, or snow plow. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the front bumper is seven and three quarter inches. From the top of the receiver tube opening to the ground is nine and three quarter inches. Now let's go ahead and show you how to install the hitch. Now keep in mind, we have a total of four attachment points, two attachment points for each side. So each process we do here on one side will get repeated identically on the opposite side. Here at the bottom of the frame, at the very front that secures the tow hook in the frame is a bolt that will need to be removed. We're going to remove the bolt and set it aside, but hang on to it as we'll use it to secure the hitch. Going through the side of the frame is another bolt that secures the tow hook. We're not going to remove it, but we are going to loosen it to make it easier to install our hitch. You can see we can now move the tow hook around and we'll go ahead and leave it like that for now. Next I'll go over to the driver's side and repeat the same process. Next we're going to install the new hardware. Our attachment point is the pre-drilled hole here in the frame just behind the front body mount. Going further down the frame is an access hole. This is an oval or rectangular hole already in the frame. The hardware we're going to be putting in the frame will be a new half inch carriage bolt and spacer block. The bolt and block will go into the frame and come out the pre-drilled hole. To get our hardware in place, we'll use the half inch pull wire provided with the install kit. And then to secure our hitch, we'll use the half inch flange nut. Let's go ahead and get our hardware in place. We're going to take the bolt leader or pull wire, feed it through the attachment point and out the access hole. Now once we have the end of our pull wire coming out the access hole, we'll take our block, slide it on, and thread our bolt into the end. We'll then feed the block and bolt into the frame separately. We'll go ahead and pull them both out the attachment point. Now our hitch side bracket is going to get secured here, so we're going to push the block and bolt back into the frame so we can get our hitch in place. We'll leave our pull wire attached so we can feed it through the attachment point in the side bracket of our hitch and then pull it out where we can gain access to it. Now with our passenger side done, I'll move over to the driver's side and repeat the same process. We're now ready to go ahead and put our hitch in place. It's a good idea to get next to the hand to help you hold the hitch while you install your fasteners. Get the hitch close to the frame. Take our pull wire. Feed it through. Now, we've got a pretty tight fit between the side bracket and the frame. It's got the pull wire pinched, so I'm just going to pry out on the side bracket enough to get my pull wire out. And then we can pull the carriage bolt and block out the side of the hitch. Now that we've got our carriage bolt out and access to it, I'm going to go ahead and remove the pull wire. Now with our pull wire or bolt leader out of the way, we can go ahead and install our flange nut 
We're just going to do it finger tight this time because we still need to rotate our hitch into position for our forward attachment point. And now we have both rear fasteners in place. Next, we'll go ahead and take the front of our hitch, rotate it up to the frame, line it up with the weld nut from the tow hook, and reinstall the manufacturer's bolt. Again, we'll just install it finger tight until we have everything in place. And just like that, we've now got our hitch and hardware in place. We're ready to go ahead and tighten it down. I'm gonna start with the forward attachment point, then the manufacturer's tow hook, and then our rear attachment point. Now once we have everything tightened down, we can go ahead and torque the specifications as indicated in instructions. And just like that, in minutes, we've gone ahead and installed and secured the Curt 2-inch front-mounted trailer hitch, part number C. 31071 on our 2015 GMC Sierra 3500.